you are wondering if you should purchase a Celebrity Cruise drink package, you're not alone. It's actually a question we get quite often from fellow cruisers. While there are many pros to buying a beverage package, there are also some reasons why a cruise ship drink package might be a waste of money. To help you make sense of all the options, we put together this complete guide to Celebrity Cruises drink packages up next. Welcome aboard, cruisers, and a special welcome back to those Eat Sleep Cruise subscribers. Heidi and I have been on several Celebrity Cruises trips, and we always get the drink package and believe it's a good value. By the end of this video, you'll have all the information you need to decide whether a Celebrity Cruises drink package is right for you. So let's dive in. Before you even consider getting a Celebrity Drink Package, you might want to know what drinks are actually included in the Celebrity Cruises fare. Well, when it comes to beverages on board the ship, you'll have the options of juice, water, and coffee all day long at select beverage stations throughout the ship. At meals, juices, and other select drinks like iced tea or lemonade are also available. Now, unfortunately, none of the specialty coffees or drinks at Cafe Albacio, the popular coffee shop on Celebrity Cruises ships, are included in the cruise fare. Thus, you need to pay a la carte at this venue or you can opt for a Celebrity Cruises drink package. Regardless of the drink package you choose, there are a few basic things that you need to know about the Celebrity Cruises drink packages. All drink packages are priced per person per day. You must purchase a Celebrity Cruise drink package for the entire length of your cruise. You cannot purchase just select days. The stated prices do not include the additional 20% service charge, which is added when purchasing the package. Additionally, applicable state and local taxes may be applied to purchases made during certain ports or on certain itineraries. As you would expect, there's no sharing of the drink package or using your package to order drinks for other cruisers. A Celebrity Cruises drink package can be canceled through the cruise planner up to two days before the sale date and are 100% refundable before you board the ship. Beverage packages are available on most sailings that are two days or longer, except two or three day sailings from Southampton, England. Additionally, beverage packages are not available on cruises in the Galapagos. You can use your Celebrity Cruises drink package almost anywhere in the ship. This includes the bars and lounges, complimentary dining venues, and the specialty restaurants. However, room service and the mini bar are not included. The Celebrity Cruise drink packages also work on Royal Caribbean's Private Island Perfect Day at Coco Cay and Labadee Haiti. No matter what package you choose, you're only allowed to get one drink at a time whether it's an alcoholic or a non-alcoholic beverage. There are essentially two ways you can purchase a Celebrity Cruises drink package. You can purchase one online pre-cruise up to 72 hours before your sail date or once on board the ship during the first day of your voyage. However, you'll usually save money by purchasing one pre-cruise. If you pre-purchase a Celebrity Cruise drink package, it will be activated upon boarding the ship and immediately ready for you to use. Unfortunately, all guests of legal drinking age in the same stateroom must purchase the Celebrity Cruises drink package, so not just one person in a cabin can purchase it. Teens, pregnant guests, and medical exemptions must get the zero-proof drink package. This also applies when you're upgrading a drink package from the classic drink package to the premium. Both guests must opt for the upgrade. Unlike some other cruise lines, there's no daily limit for drinks with Celebrity Cruises drink packages. If you purchase a Celebrity Cruise drink package, you're entitled to as many non-alcoholic and alcoholic drinks as you want. Of course, staff do have the right to refuse you bar service if you're obviously intoxicated. Knowing your limits is just as important on a cruise ship as it is back on land. However, guests may only order one drink at a time with the beverage package. Any additional drinks ordered will be charged at current bar prices. Now that you know the basic details that apply to all three of Celebrity Cruises drink packages, let's take a look at each drink package separately and what's included to help you find the right drink package for your next trip. Perhaps the most popular drink package on Celebrity Cruises is the Classic Drink Package. Currently, the drink package is priced at $89 per person per day for the 20% gratuity. Once you add that gratuity, the total cost of the Classic Drink Package for a seven day cruise would be $747.60 Per person. The classic drink package is also the one you get if you opt to upgrade the all included price. This celebrity drink package covers beers, 
spirits, cocktails, liqueurs, frozen drinks, and wines by the glass up to $10 per serving. This package also includes a 15% discount on all wines by the bottle. If a guest order exceeds a $10 maximum value, then you'll be charged only for the difference, plus the 20% gratuity. With this package, you're also entitled to non-premium bottled water, specialty coffees, juices, and soda. This package does not include smoothies or Aqua Spa fresh juices. This allotment basically covers all 16 ounce beers on the ship and a basic selection of red and white wines at the onboard restaurants and bars. When it comes to cocktails, the package does cover a fair amount of premium brands. However, top shelf liquors and cocktails at the Martini Bar, the World Class Bar, or Eden on Edge Class ships will not be included in the classic beverage package. So if you're looking to upgrade your experience, there's the Celebrity Cruises Premium Drink Package. This covers all the drinks in the classic drink package, plus, as you would expect, some premium offerings. These selections include the specialty coffees and teas, craft and artisan beers, spirits, cocktails, frozen drinks, Coca-Cola products, premium bottled water, and wines by the class up to $17. Also, guests get a 20% discount off all bottles of wine. Currently, Celebrity Cruises Premium Drink Package is priced at $109 per person per day, again before that 20% gratuity. Once you add in that 20% gratuity, the typical cost for this drink package for a seven night cruise would be $915.60 per cruiser. Similar to the classic beverage package, if a guest orders a drink that exceeds a $17 maximum value, you'll be charged for the difference only plus that 20% gratuity. Honestly, we were just on Celebrity Cruise's brand new ship, Celebrity Beyond, and you'd be hard pressed to find a drink that's not covered in the premium package. Although there are a few exceptions at the Eden Bar, where some drinks are over this allotment. The premium beverage package will cover the martinis at the Martini Bar, and most of the handcrafted drinks at the World Class Bar, as well as a much wider selection of wines by the glass. Further, guests with the premium package receive unlimited premium still and sparkling bottled water, Red Bull, vitamin water, as well as the Spa Cafe Fresh Juices, and Zero Proof Cocktails. Speaking of Zero Proof Cocktails, Subway Cruises does offer a non-alcoholic beverage package, which has been rebranded and now is referred to as the Zero Proof Drink Package. While the cruise line used to offer two different packages covering non-alcoholic beverages, Currently, the Zero Proof Drink Package is the only non-alcoholic drink package offered by Celebrity Cruises. This package includes all premium bottled water, including brands like Evian and Perrier, specialty coffees and organic teas, Red Bull energy drinks, frozen smoothies, Zero Proof cocktails, Coca-Cola selections, vitamin water, and bottled iced teas, as well as you would expect, mocktails. Celebrity Cruises Zero Proof Drink Package is priced at $30 per person per day before the 20% gratuity. Once you add that gratuity, the typical cost for a seven night cruise for the Zero Proof Drink Package would be $252 per person. If you're debating between the classic and the premium drink package, it might be good to know what the drinks actually cost on Celebrity Cruises. So back on the blog, we have a detailed look at all the bars and lounges on Celebrity Beyond with bar menus. That way you can get a sense of what your favorite spirit or favorite drinks cost on that brand new ship. But in general, we found that most beers were around $6.50 to $7 a serving. Most wines by the glass were between $6 and $15 with a decent amount of wines around $9 or $10, but honestly, we're not big wine drinkers. Mixed drinks started at $9, but were typically more like $10 to $12. Those specialty cocktails, those cost more like $15 to $18, and as we mentioned, some at the bar Eden on Ed Chips and the World Class Bar are actually over that $17 limit. Soft drinks cost about $3, and specialty coffees average about $5. Energy drinks are actually $6, and then bottled water is between $3.50 to $5. So this brings us back to the original question. Are drink packages on Celebrity Cruises worth it? Of course, this is a question that only you can answer based on your own drinking habits. 
Essentially, the question is whether you'll consume enough beverages to make the purchases worth it. So we put together this chart with the different beverage costs within each category. Using this chart, you can do some quick math to see if you would routinely hit the daily drink costs of the above packages. And don't worry, there's a link to our complete guide to celebrity cruises back in the blog that also contains this chart. Ultimately, you need to know your own drinking habits to determine if the drink packages on celebrity cruises will be a good value during your cruise. Other things to consider is the length of the cruise and how many ports of call are on the itinerary. For instance, will you be able to sustain the same drinking pattern over a three or four day cruise that you would on a 10 or 14 day cruise? If you're doing a port intensive cruise, will you even be on the ship long enough to make good use of your celebrity cruise drink package? Regardless of how much we consume, one benefit of a drink package is the added convenience. You never need to worry about the bar tab at the end of the cruise. Opting for a drink package makes your cruise feel more all-inclusive. While we don't go overboard, see what we did there, with alcoholic drinks, we do consume plenty of bottled water, specialty coffees, and premium non-alcoholic beverages. When combining both the non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages we consume during a trip, we typically do recognize a cost savings when purchasing a Celebrity Cruises beverage package when compared to purchasing those beverages a la carte. When debating your options, you also need to consider if upgrading to the all-included package is worth it for your trip. When booking a Celebrity Cruise, guests now have the option of a cruise only or all-included rate. The all-included rate includes a classic beverage package, basic Wi-Fi, and gratuities. The all-included rate is available for all stateroom categories, including the retreat, and it's available on most sailings except the Galapagos. Now, all guests in the same stateroom must choose the same rate at the time of booking. Guests staying in their tree actually get an upgraded all-included experience, which includes a premium drink package, gratuities, unlimited premium Wi-Fi, and onboard credit. The price to upgrade from the cruise only to the all-included fare does vary based on a number of factors. However, during our recent tests where we examined multiple ships and different itineraries and different sail dates, we saw the upgrade cost around $80 per person per day. So for us, the question becomes, is it worth upgrading to Celebrity Cruises all included package versus buying drink packages outright? So when you're considering this question, you'll want to determine the cost of such included amenities. As we mentioned, the classic beverage package is $89 per person per day before the gratuity. Basic Wi-Fi is $16.99 per person per day and gratuities are $17.50 per person per day for most stateroom categories, $18 per person per day for concierge class and aqua class staterooms, and $21 per person per day for guests of the retreat. Of course, it is possible that your online cruise planner may run sales on these individual offerings, allowing you to purchase them for slightly cheaper than the above listed price. Still, if you plan to purchase a drink package on your celebrity cruise, Upgrading to the all-included package is a no-brainer. You essentially get basic Wi-Fi and the gratuities for free. However, if you don't think you'll have at least a few drinks each day, then upgrading to the all-included probably doesn't make sense for you. If you were thinking of getting the zero-proof drink package, then the additional add-ons of Wi-Fi and gratuities, it still doesn't hit that approximately $80 for upgrading to the all-included. Now, if you opt for the all-included, you are able to upgrade your drink package from the classic to the premium for $24 per person per day, plus a gratuity. You can also upgrade the basic Wi-Fi to premium Wi-Fi for $15 per person per day. Either way, we see the all-included package as a nice perk to help you save money and help make your vacation a little more stress-free. If you need additional help planning your Celebrity Cruises cruise, we suggest you check out our video of everything that's included on Celebrity Cruises, plus what's extra. We weed through all the details and break down what's actually covered in the Celebrity Cruises Fair for dining, entertainment, and onboard activities. Plus, note the additional cost that the cruise line doesn't tell you about. That way, you'll know the true cost of your Celebrity Cruise and won't get sticker shocked at the end of the trip.